Welcome back you guys. I am so excited to be sharing this video with you guys today. I am sharing with you what I am doing with my preschooler slash like K4. He's four years old and he really likes school. It's not even necessary if you guys like don't ever feel pressure like you have to homeschool your little tiny ones. The only reason I'm even homeschooling him is because he wants not homeschooling. But the only reason I actually picked out curriculum for him is because he sees his brothers and sisters doing it. So he wants to sit down and do it too and have his own school. So I decided to get a couple things just for him to do with me one-on-one -on -one, um, so he can have his own little school time. Now I have done a Becca's twos and threes with him in the past and I might still kind of incorporate some stuff with that. But I do have a little stack of stuff here that I can't wait to share with you. So if you want to see what we are using, then stick around. So if this is your first time here, then I just want to welcome you. My name is Sarah and this is my channel, Rolling with the Rouses. And on my channel, I love to share content on homeschool and motherhood. I like to share a little bit about my faith in Christ and i like to do book hauls and book reviews and curriculum flip throughs so if that's the kind of stuff that you like then consider subscribing below and be sure to click that little bell button because when you click that bell it will notify you every single time i upload a video so the only reason i even got him curriculum is because he really just sees us doing school and he wants to do his own school uh, so I got him a couple things and I'm just going to start with, I guess, uh, math. So for math, I got him this preschool beginner math and this is by JDA here on YouTube. And this book is just really basic and fun and it's something that he could do even on his own if he wanted to. Um, like some of this stuff I'd have to read him directions uh, but then he can do like the rest on his own and we have been already working our way through this and what I've been doing is just copying him the pages and then making him his own little like workbook and that way I just have this for my next <laughs> child I will link all of this stuff in the description box that I'm sharing with you today in case you wanted to go check it out for yourself but this was really inexpensive i'm pretty sure i paid like 10 bucks for it he really loves this and he just loves to have his own school so i also ended up purchasing him the simply good in the beautiful math k you guys i am so excited about this the day it came out you bet i clicked buy and then you know here we are uh so i did level k the old version uh with Faith and Isaac, and we really liked it. There were a couple things that, you know, we didn't really care for, but overall, I thought it was a really good program, and we personally really liked it, and I just grouped Faith and Isaac together. But some days it did get kind of long, and I had been going back and forth whether I was going to continue it or not. But then when I heard that they were coming out with the Simply Good and the Beautiful Math and revising it, I was so excited, okay, because I really do love their math. So it comes with this workbook, which is a teacher book and a regular book all in one, which you guys, this makes my mom heart happy that I don't have to have a teacher's guide and another one. Like, I think this is one of the reasons why I love the good and the beautiful so much is because the teacher's guide is like built right inside of this. So we have this, and then it also comes with this super cute little wooden math box. And there's just a few little items that it comes with, and it comes with three little cars. It comes with some, what are these? Like number dice with a plus and minus. It comes with little game pieces. And then it also comes with these little um, like counting sticks right here. Uh, so it's less manipulatives and they are better quality than the other ones were. The other ones were like a chipboard piece. These are all wooden nice pieces. So I 
really excited about this and I already know he's going to love this so much he is really gonna love this you guys I am stoked so that's what we're doing for math and then for phonics I ended up getting him the explode the code get ready for the code book a B and C I did this with both Faith and Isaac and they really loved it. And I know Justice is gonna love this too. I actually gave him one of Isaac's old books to like just look at and you know, if he wanted to do it and he really liked it. So I purchased this for him and he's gonna be doing this and he loves it. Now, most of this stuff, he will be able to probably sit and do himself. I mean, I'll just have to like read him the directions and then he could do it himself. But along with that, I also purchased Logic of English Foundations A. And then here is the student workbook. And what I did is I actually just purchased the PDF version. So then I could just print my own out. So that's kind of what we're doing for like reading and writing and spelling and all of that. Um, we're gonna be using Logic of English Foundations A. I'll probably do a more in-depth video on this uh, program if you're interested. Later on, I'll probably do that. But yeah, I'm excited to try this program out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And then also for just some fun uh, activities is some stuff from the Let's Play School subscription. I had purchased the subscription last year, so I have like tons of games and activities from it. So I will be utilizing those. For example, this is one of the games. This is like, you would put these cards flip them and it's like a math game pretty much like graphing hands-on he can do this kind of stuff himself so I also have activities like this that he can do and then as far as anything else I do have family subjects that I'm going to be sharing in a whole nother video and he doesn't have to sit and do them but I'm sure he's going to want to sit down and do what we are doing because we chose like a literature based uh, family style curriculum this year and I think he's really gonna love it. I really think he's gonna end up sitting in with us and listening to a bunch of those read alouds that we're gonna be doing together. But like I said, I will be sharing that in another video. That is what I am doing for my four year old for this upcoming school year. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Again, I will link all of this stuff and I will see you guys in the next video. All right guys, have a blessed day.